Last time, we talked about using transitions to show the logical connections between our ideas and to improve the flow between our sentences. Another common problem I see in student writing is using transitions but not using them logically. Admit it. Most of us have, at least once, been guilty of throwing in a random thus or therefore just to sound smart, even though we didn't really know what it meant. Let's go back to that essay for health class we were working on last time. Here's an example body paragraph from that essay. To illustrate the problem I'm talking about, I took every transition in the paragraph and swapped it out for a different, completely random transition. Pay attention to what it does to the overall flow of the paragraph. A physically active lifestyle is an important element in cancer prevention. We have known for decades that regular exercise can reduce our risk of heart disease and other health risks. But recent research has shown that the benefits of exercise also include decreasing the likelihood of cancer. However, people who exercise regularly have a 40% to 50% lower risk of colon cancer. And women who exercise for more than three hours per week have a 30% to 40% lower risk of breast cancer. Therefore, studies have shown that people who are regularly active are less likely to develop lung cancer. Exercise may reduce your risk of cancer for a variety of reasons. On the other hand, regular moderate exercise has been shown to improve immune system functions, which are the body's way of fighting diseases, including cancer. Indeed, being overweight and inactive can cause the body to have elevated levels of certain hormones. In conclusion, overweight and inactive people are at higher risk of cancers that grow and spread via hormones. In contrast, Obesity increases a person's chances of dying from several types of cancer, and exercise is an essential part of achieving and maintaining a healthy body weight. We've got a lot of problems here. Look at this portion. That, however, should indicate that we're about to switch directions logically, or we're about to say something that contrasts or contradicts what we just said. But in reality, the second sentence actually emphasizes the point we made in the first. So something like, in fact, or for example, would be a much better transition. Let's replace all of those transitions with words or phrases that connect our ideas more logically. A physically active lifestyle is an important element in cancer prevention. We have known for decades that regular exercise can reduce our risk of heart disease and other health risks. But recent research has shown that the benefits of exercise also include decreasing the likelihood of cancer. In fact, people who exercise regularly have a 40% to 50% lower risk of colon cancer. And women who exercise for more than three hours per week have a 30% to 40% lower risk of breast cancer. Likewise, studies have shown that people who are regularly active are less likely to develop lung cancer. Exercise may reduce risk of cancer for a variety of reasons. For example, regular moderate exercise has been shown to improve immune system functions which are the body's way of fighting diseases, including cancer. In addition, being overweight and inactive can cause the body to have elevated levels of certain hormones. As a result, overweight and inactive people have a higher risk of cancers that grow and spread via hormones. In any case, obesity increases a person's chance of dying from several types of cancer, and exercise is an essential part of achieving and maintaining a healthy body weight. What we see here is that, just like any other word, transitions have very specific meanings and you can't just use them interchangeably. We have transitions that let us add a similar idea, like in addition, moreover, and likewise. We have transitions that let us emphasize a strong point, like as a matter of fact, in particular, and indeed. We have transitions that let us limit or oppose a previous statement, like although this may be true, Nevertheless, on the other hand, and however, and we have many more, each with its own distinct function and purpose. Don't worry, we'll give you a cheat sheet later so you don't have to memorize them all. But the more you use them, the more they'll become a part of your natural vocabulary. At first, you may have to very consciously force yourself to insert them in your writing, and you might have to spend time deciding which transition is going to be the best or most logical one for a particular situation. But after a while, you'll get to a point where logical transitions and connections start flowing naturally in your first draft. It just takes practice. Before we wrap up here, I want to note two final things. First, 
There are situations where you could use two very different transitions and they might both work. But the transition choice you make will affect the kind of connection you're emphasizing. Let's look back at an example from that last paragraph. In this situation, you could use however or likewise, and they would both work. If you use likewise, you are saying, exercise reduces your risk of heart disease, so it only makes sense that it would also reduce your risk of cancer. On the other hand, if you use however, you're basically saying, it's obvious that exercise can reduce your risk of heart disease, but it's surprising that it can also reduce your risk of cancer. So you have to decide if you want to say, what I'm saying makes obvious sense, or what I'm saying is quite surprising and unexpected. Second, I want to point out a problem I often see with transitions, and not just in student writing. When you use a transition like however, but, or conversely, it's like you're, you're switching direction in your logic. So you can say, while that might seem to be the case, this is actually true. It's like you're going in one direction, yada, 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 however, blah, 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 and you've changed direction. So the problem I sometimes see is when somebody tries to do a double reversal. I mean, I guess if you're like Boise State's football team, that might be a cool trick play, but in writing, it doesn't work very well. This happens when you say something, you follow it up with a however, and then the very next sentence starts with a word like but. You've changed direction two times in a matter of a couple of sentences, and that's not very effective. So try to avoid double reversals like that. And with that, I have said enough. It's your turn. Let's go to work.